guys, it is day four of the home renovation projects. Hopefully you all are having a great day. We're going to make it a great one as well. We got the furnace turned on finally, um, and it was uh, just a great thing to feel the nice warm heat. Uh, so now we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good time. Not gonna be freezing our butts off, and we can start painting again. So uh, we'll just bring you along for day four. I'm not sure what's gonna what it's gonna do. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot of painting and probably some more painting and probably even some more painting. So <laughs> I think one of the fun things that we're going to do is that we're going to be actually doing the uh, the living room here. So the living room is going to be very fun to do because it's it's just uh, it's such a clean canvas and we're really going to be changing the color up. In the other rooms, we're sticking very close to the original color, um, completely not uh, on purpose either. We just picked a great color that we liked and then we started to put it on we're like, wow, this is only two or three shades lighter. So. Um, it was uh, it was not a huge change, but this room is really going to do a great transformation, and so I'm very excited about it. Um, and one of the things that I'm really really excited about is uh, over here, we're actually going to paint the fireplace white. So it's going to be white against a nice uh, kind of like a like a what would you call it? It's going to be like a charcoal gray, kind of like a like a light like it's kind of like a, it's a sandy gray kind of. It's just a sandy gray color. And um, it's going to be just a great contrast, and it's going to look very modern, really nice and open, and uh, it's going to be inviting. And um, wait till we see what, the, what we do with the door as well. The door, uh, I think it's going to be done in about a week or two. We're going to get the paint for that. So I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, I know you all are going to enjoy it. So let's go. Are you excited of day four renovations, Geneva? Say hi. Oh, you're tripping. Let me get your cloth. How does that fist taste? Here, here. All right, she loves the colors. <laughs> what do you think of the colors? What the colors for the home that we we chose? The colors for the living room. What do you think about them? Mm -hmm. I think it's really exciting. I'm excited to see it all come together. The accent wall is getting painted, and what is the what is the verdict? You think it's gonna be good or no? I think it's gonna be sweet. Yeah. I absolutely love it. I've always been a, a person that I really like. Um, kind of the, uh, you know, I know it's kind of cliche to say this, but the mid-century modern um, is probably one of my most least favorite terms, but I guess it's very, uh, it's very appropriate at this time to use that term because mid-century modern really focuses on like concrete and open floor plans, things like that. And so I really do love the, um, the kind of concrete, uh, concrete color um, it's inspired by concrete, let's put it that way. And so I just, yeah, I don't know, I really love it. But it's a color that you've got to be careful with because it can really dominate a room and that's why I think it's nice that we're doing just this one wall because it's going, actually going to be behind the headboard so it won't be, a, it won't be the main focal point um, because the, the, kind of the headboard of the bed uh, draws the eye and then this kind of just sets the backdrop which will be kind of fun uh, I think to to have it that way. And so since our bed is so so wide and we have other stuff like like lamps and stuff like that, I think it will um, I don't think it'll detract too much from the eye and I think it will be kind of more that background that I'm looking for. All right guys, so we have just finished our room here. The accent what color is up and so is the white or the grayish white we have. So it's coming off across nicely. I'm gonna bring you guys over to Luke. He's helping me over at Geneva's nursery. How's it going over here? Uh, it's going pretty well, actually. I'm surprised at how fast this is going. Um, it could be going faster, but it's still going fast. Um, mm -hmm. The thing that I think is nice with this light gray is that um, it only needs one coat. The thing that I was finding with the the dark gray, uh, the what's it called, the ashlar gray? Yes. Uh, the the ashlar gray, when you rolled it on, sometimes the 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 nap of the roller would create those little tiny uh, ridges, a little very slight texture, and sometimes it would trap like an air bubble of the original color where it wouldn't get paint. So I had to, I found that I had to go over a second time with it. So it actually the one wall took about the equivalent of doing like two or three walls. So this doing this gray is great because it's such a it's such a slight contrast 
you never even know with those imperfections. I'm sure they're all over the place because we're not going through and putting two coats. But, uh, but yeah, so it's, uh, it's going pretty fast. So we are all done with Geneva's nursery. It looks fantastic. We're just going to do uh, some quick touch-up spots up on the ceiling there where the, the roller went just a tad bit too high and uh, mistakes happen, right? So it, look, it looks great. I am so pleased with how it looks. So we are all finished here. Obviously, um, for those of you that did not see the carpet in the episode, this is the orange carpet we're talking about. The orange has got to go. So uh, come Monday, I believe, the uh, that's why we're racing to get these rooms finished because we're going to carpet the bedrooms again and put hardwood flooring in the living room, dining room, kitchen, and hallways. Uh, so the, the carpet guys are coming to rip up the carpet and put in fresh stuff. And you know we'll be documenting that as well. So uh, <laughs> that's why we're, we're racing to finish. I want to show you my bedroom as well. Well, uh, our master bedroom. And our master bedroom is almost finished as well. I mean, it's, it's about 99% finished. Just got to do a few more touch-up stuff. So check it out. It is fantastic. And I'm just so pleased with how the color turned out. This ashlar gray is just a great, great color for an accent wall, especially since our colors are white ceilings. All the ceilings are white. Then most of our walls are the uh, the hailstone gray. That's this color here. It's a real slight gray, something that's not super reflective, but um, it's also uh, just enough to kind of catch the eye and notice there's something different about it. It gives it a little more richness and a little more depth. Um, and then that back wall there is just that ashlar gray that really just kind of sucks you right in. And once we have the bed there and the nightstands, it's going to be a great, great uh, tie-in, especially with the carpet, um, which by the way, the carpet in this room, the carpet in this room is uh, nasty as well. Not as bad as the yellow, but there it seems like whoever put the carpet in here had no clue of <laughs> what they really wanted. They didn't know if they wanted uh, you know, blues or yellows or greens. And I'll show you the other carpet in the living room, which you missed uh, in the home walkthrough. And there's a lot of people that wanted to see that. So uh, come and check out the carpet in the living room. It is a mess. So here is the carpet in the living room. And as you can see, this is where the pets mostly lived. Uh, you can see a pea stain there, a big pea stain there. And so it, it stinks, okay? It stinks and I appreciate all of the advice that people have been giving us. Uh, so it's going, to be, it's going to be much appreciated. We're gonna use all your tips to fix this. Plus we have professionals coming in that are going to rip all this up and sanitize the, the flooring. We're gonna do all that. So uh, it's going to be fine. Um, and then obviously this is the wall that we're gonna tear down here. So we're very pleased, uh, and so all this is going to be hardwood, so we're very pleased with how this room is going to come uh, you know, come along. We're just getting ready to paint the walls now, so uh, I got my, my roller and my, my paint tray there, and we're going to uh, finish about here. See, have I finished back? So we're going to finish about right here onward, so that when they tear down the wall, they're really not missing focus. There you go. Hey, Mom, say hi to the camera. <laughs> so they're going to tear down the wall right there. And so that's all going to be, uh, we're not even going to worry about finishing that yet. And we'll finish whatever else is left later. So let's go. So this brings us to the end of day four. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I absolutely did. And it is, it's been a very productive one. We got so much done. 
two bedrooms finished completely and now the living room is being worked on and we are making great headway on that. So I'm gonna turn off the lights, head home, get a nice hot shower because I've got paint all in my hair. <laughs> and it's a great day. So anyways, I definitely want to thank you all for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that like button. And also hit a like button for me painting. <laughs> okay, don't hit the like button for that. I painted the wall that I said I wasn't going to paint. I painted it anyways because uh, I was in the zone and I completely forgot that I was not supposed to paint that wall. So we're all human. Laugh it off. And remember that you're human. All right, I'll catch you all later on the next mission. See ya. Bye.